let's make some fun Dollar Tree Valentine's candles together. So all of these supplies I did not end up using, but some of them I did. First things first, you're going to want to get those sticky labels off of those Dollar Tree pillar candles. And the easiest way I found to do this is to take the heat gun to it. Don't get it too close because you don't want to melt your candle, but if you do it right, you will be able to peel the sticker off with absolutely no problem. Now it's still going to leave a sticky residue. So what I like to do is take some isopropyl alcohol and take off the rest with a paper towel. So this is a really simple process and you are left with a squeaky clean candle. Repeat that process for all three of the candles that we're gonna use. Now, I gathered some of my favorite washi tape. You guys, I've collected it over the years. I find it at thrift stores, flea markets, online, and then this particular one right here I'm showing you came from Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to keep them all in the same color family for these Valentine's candles. So they're all pink, red, hot pink, and white. I absolutely am obsessed with these. And a lot of people are like, what do we do with washi tape? Well, let me tell you, my friend, this is an amazing idea. So you take your simple white pillar candle from Dollar Tree and start out with one of the washi tape colors. I just wanted to do sort of the most neutral for the top and bottom. So I grabbed this Swiss dot. This one is actually from Dollar Tree and I use this for the very top of my candle. So I just took it and made it like a ring around the candle and I did, took it right below the very tip top. So I didn't wanna get it up near the flame, but I definitely wanted it to be around the top rim of the candle so that it would um, be really cute. So listen, you guys, if you follow me for a while, you know that I like to make these things up as I go. So even though I wasn't live recording this, I did make it up as I went. Um, you're going to want to snip this right here. And then there's your first little layer. I absolutely love it. Okay. So the next section I did speed up a little bit because we are going to go through all of the washi tapes and I didn't have any particular rhyme or reason as to exactly the order that I applied these in I just used my best guess and it's part of the fun you guys it's kind of to wing it so the next layer I did leave a little tiny gap and I'll tell you that's because I had in my mind that I was going to use these really cute um, those little plastic uh, beaded strips from Dollar Tree in between. They come in a pack of red and white. You probably saw them over in my supplies earlier, but ultimately I thought this turns out so stinking cute on its own. I didn't want to add anything extra to it. So I added this XOXO washi tape and I know you're going to ask me, where did you get that one? So I do have a place where I have listed all of my favorite washi tapes if you need to buy them online. So I will link that in the description below this video for your convenience. Again, I am just picking and choosing which tapes to go where. And I just kind of thought we went with the Swiss dots and then it's kind of a camo look and then the XOXO, then the clusters of hearts and now these really cute heart arrows. I thought they were adorable. And then this one is pretty much a solid thing of, stri of stripes of hearts. Now washi tape is kind of delicate, so you have to be careful. I did tear it there, so I trimmed it again before I started over. Now I will invite you, my friend, if you like videos like these, please hit that subscribe button as well as that handy notification bell. And that way YouTube is gonna give you an alert every time one of my videos comes out for you. And if while you're at it, if you do like this one, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment so that I know. Now, again, I was down to the last few rolls of washi tape and I wanted to get picky about where they went. Um, so I went ahead and went with the additional pink one. This one again is from Dollar Tree for the next layer. And it kind of works out perfectly for you to have five, or I'm sorry, you to have uh, nine, I think it was. How many did I do here, y'all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rolls 
of different. Now, there is nothing wrong with picking two rolls of washi tape and just repeating it over and over. I think that would be cute too. Um, I just, again, happened to be a little bit obsessed and I had tons of these rolls available and a lot were Valentine's. So I liked this one. It says, I love you on it with a little heart. And then for this bottom one, again, I'm trying to go with something a little more vanilla. So it was just a simple strip of red uh, with white hearts on it for the base. And it was the perfect amount, just giving that little tiny, you know, quarter inch peekaboo strip in between of the white candle made it where all of these fit on here magically. What do you think? I absolutely love this one. So this is just the first candle. We have three candles total. So for the second candle, I grabbed this Dollar Tree clings. The, they are the window clings and I just literally laid them on top of my candle. Now they don't stay permanently. So if you do want them to be permanent, you're going to want to hot glue them in place. But for my purposes, I love using them for the seasons so and moving them around like I just did there um, and that way every season I know I could have some fun go down to my local dollar store grab one of these window clings uh, pages and go to town on a white pillar candle this is the most fun 250 I guess at the time of this recording is their prices is 125 a piece project and as you can see, I kind of ran out of room, but I really, really liked this window cling heart here. Uh, so I am moving things around. That's the beauty of the window clings. I'm telling you, my friend, so easy, so fun. And you just don't want to handle it a lot after you have them uh, where you want them so that uh, they don't fall off unless you want to glue them. All right, this is a close-up view of it. I thought it was so stinking cute. You're going to have to let me know in the comments below which of these three candles ends up being your favorite. Uh, but, but I couldn't pick. I love them all. So for the third candle, we're going to take this Dollar Tree card. Now they have really upped their game on their cards, their seasonal cards, and I am in love with this XOXO. It has the little 3D mounting strips underneath it, so I literally just carefully and tediously removed each letter from the card. Now I'm just going to show you here at the end of peeling these off that the card is still good. In fact, I used it to give a Valentine's to my parents. Now on the candle, I'm just gonna place these stickers. My gosh, it does not get any simpler than this. My friend, anyone can do this. Do this with the kiddos. So stinking cute. What a fun and easy way to decorate for Valentine's. Get all three of these done. You will have such a blast. I promise, super simple, super affordable way to decorate for Valentine's. And I tell you what, if you like these ideas, I'm gonna share some videos with you next for you to check out with more.